Well, 39 matches played, 170 goals scored since we started this journey back in the qualifying stage. There is uh, Rajesh Patel of the Fiji FA to the left of the picture. Chris Kemp of the OFC Competitions Department to the right. Welcome, OFC Vice President and the President of Fiji Football Association, Rajesh Patel. OFC will now present commemorative medals to the match officials of today's final match. The referee, Norbert Hawata from Tahiti. The assistant ref... Well, the first medals to be presented will be those awarded to the referee quartet. Norbert Hawata, who today refereed his sixth OFC Champions League final. His first back in 2009. He refereed the 2015 final between Team Wellington and Auckland City. So he's very familiar with the beat that he was asked to walk today. And uh, something of a new experience for David Yeraboinen of Papua New Guinea. Philippe Ravel and Bertrand Brial have been over the course many times in the past. OFC will now honor the fair play team of the tournament. The winner of the fair play award is Auckland City FC. Auckland City FC will be presented with the award in Auckland at a later date. Well, there you go. Auckland City FC have uh, been awarded the Fair Play Trophy for OFC the OFC Champions League for 2018. The star of the tournament. And the winner of the Golden Boot is Angus Kilcoli from Team Wellington. Well, Kilcoli's timely goal in this one that uh, set up the 4 3 victory is enough to give him the Golden Boot. Eight goals all told for Kilcoli. And uh, every team that wins a trophy needs uh, an ace goal scorer. And uh, Kilcolly certainly provided the goals in abundance for Team Wellington. OFC will now honor the most outstanding goalkeeper of the tournament. The winner of the Golden Globe is uh, Inout Zubikarai from Auckland City FC. Inout will be presented with the award in Auckland at a later date. Well, there's no surprise about who gets the Golden Gloves. Uh, Scott Bezalay can feel... will now honour the best player that, uh, of the tournament. That's a, a trophy he could uh, pick up ball at any time. Roy Kayara from Team Wellington. Well, there you go. Roy Kayara has picked up the Golden Ball Award, the New Caledonian International proudly wearing his uh, nation's colours. Well, Zubi Karai, to get back to the Golden Glove, 1,086 minutes without conceding between James Naka's goal and now, on the 11th of March 2017 and the 18th of the 29th of April 2018 when uh, Kilcolly broke that uh, seal. So the individual awards have uh, been dished out and now it's time for Natoka to receive their runners-up medals. They struggled across the two ties up until today, but uh, they can be proud of what they've managed to achieve for their district and reaching their first ever Champions League final. And uh, like Team Wellington, the old adage goes, you have to lose a final to be able to win one at a later date. And uh, maybe for one or two of these Bautoka players, that might uh, be the equation that comes into play in years to come. There's some talented players in there, undoubtedly. And uh, this guy knows all about winning this tournament, of course. He's uh, on the losing side today, but he's brought so much to the competition since he first played in it in 2005.
And now Kamal Swami and his technical support team receive their runners up medals. Well, now is the moment. Scott Bezalay leading the way. On the losing side in 2016 and 2017, as was uh, Taylor Shrivers, Nathaniel Hale Mariam. Andy Bevan has lost two finals previously and now gets to wear a winner's medal. Roy Kayara, the first New Caledonian perhaps to pick up a winner's medal in the OC Champions League. Marcel Campman receiving his uh, medal there. Scott Hillier, who didn't play today but has been outstanding this entire season. Daniel Mulholland there to Taylor Shrivers, the unsung hero. And Nathaniel Halmarium, who's uh, been a pleasure to watch both domestically and regionally. And now the support staff of Team Wellington, who have uh, been working diligently in the background to maximise the opportunities for their players. And Jose Figuera, what a difference a year makes. Beaten 5-0 last season and uh, completely restructured the DNA and the personnel in this Team Wellington side to the point where they're undisputed winners of this competition. Justin Gully, who played in the 2015 final here in Fiji three and years ago, the, uh, when Team Wellington lost on penalties. President, Mr. Will hand over the winner's trophy to the captain of uh, Team Wellington, Justin There it is. The moment for Team Wellington. Gully. Justin Gully receives the trophy. The smiles all around. Team Wellington making history for their team, for their club, for their city. And for New Zealand. They become the third New Zealand side to win this coveted award. And they're off to the UAE. They're off to the FIFA Club World Cup 2018. Oceania champions. And they're going to savour it, and so they should. Well, that brings to a close our coverage of the UFC Champions League for 2018. I've been Gordon Glenn Watson, still am, and it's been a pleasure describing all the action for you from across the Pacific over these past 39 games. There's a big adventure around the corner for these players and their club in December when they go to the FIFA Club World Cup. And uh, until then, we'll bid you farewell. See you again next time in 2019. Take care and all the best.